In this video, we will explore an easy and quick way to create AI illustrations using Google Collab. While there are many AI illustration creation methods out there, they can be expensive or require complex software, making it difficult for beginners to get started. However, Google Collab allows anyone to create AI illustrations using just a smartphone or computer without having to install any software. This tutorial is suitable for anyone who is interested in creating AI illustrations, regardless of experience level. It's free to use and requires minimal setup, so even those who are hesitant to invest in costly software or hardware can try it out. To create AI illustrations using Google Collab, you will need three things. A smartphone or computer. An internet browser. Google Collab account. Google Collab is a programming service that allows users to run Python code online without installing any software on their computer or device. To get started with Google Collab, follow these simple steps. Based on the Google Collab code for executing Stable Diffusion created by a Japanese YouTuber, I added code such as Easy Negative. I have pasted the Google Collab URL for running Stable Diffusion in my YouTube overview, so please go to that link and make a copy. To access Google Collab, click on Edit at the top of the screen and then click on Notebook Settings. Under Hardware Accelerator, select GPU and save the settings. With this simple step, you can perform computational processes using GPUs on Google Collab. To make a copy of Stable Diffusion, click on the File button on the left side of the screen. Then select Save a Copy in Drive. A copy of Google Collabo will then be created in your Google Drive. Next, click on the triangle button on the left side of the program. That's it. By following these simple steps, you can now perform stable diffusion process on Google Collab with ease. Additionally, I would like to share an illustration that was created using stable diffusion. If you want to learn more about the code for prompts and other information, I'm sharing illustrated prompts in the community, so please check it in my YouTube overview.